This video has tons of Christmas crafts inspiration for you. Let's get started. Today we are visiting a different Dollar Tree, but I'm excited to find some new wrapping paper. And they had these freshly put out and I cannot wait to show you what I did with them. This Dollar Tree Christmas hack, I am going to take this gnome sign. It's already very pretty as it is, but you know me, I like to customize the decor. So we're gonna remove everything from it and we're gonna sand it down. You can use a sanding block, but I'm gonna use my electric sander because it's quicker and way more effective. This is to remove all the glitter as well as scuff off the surface so that the paint adheres very well. I'm gonna clean it up really well, and then I'm gonna give it one and a half coats of Waverly Chalk Paint in the white, but only in the edges, because we're not gonna need the middle portion covered. Once it was completely dry, I am going to take this beautiful Santa belt wrapping paper. I loved it. I might even go back because I might use this one for my own Christmas gifts this year. I'm going to tear the edges. I love using this technique. I've used it many times before. Sometimes I just love that tear look. So that's what I'm going to do. And I'm going to cut it, leaving about maybe about a half an inch on each side, give or take. It doesn't have to be perfect. Then I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to spray it with this Elmer's, not Elmer's, ha, Gorilla adhesive spray. And we're going to place it right in the center. This works so awesome. I usually use Elmer's, which is why I said Elmer's. But using this one, I realize this is so much better. And I do have in my Amazon store, which is always linked down below. Using my Cricut, I did cut out the phrase ho 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 because it's very appropriate for the sign and the wrapping paper we're using. I'm going to use some transfer tape and this is where things kind of went downhill for me. I forgot that I am dealing with very thin wrapping paper. Yep, you guessed it. It literally tore me. I thought I can fix it. I thought, hey, I can make this work. No. So I ended up just tearing it out. I was so frustrated. So needless to say, I removed the whole thing off, except for this one little part, which really adhered like crazy good. Then I did the whole thing all over again. I'm not going to show you, but here I am placing it right on top. This time, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to use the letters just like stickers, and I'm going to place them. Now, I decided to kind of place the ho-ho-ho towards the left side of the board, because I figured I'd kind of add a little bit of greenery and embellishments to the right side. And that's exactly what I did. Once I had the words right on it, I started placing some full greenery picks from Amazon that I usually get during this time of the year because they're just such a good deal and great quality. I'm just going to hot glue them in place and then I'm just going to add a couple extra little things like a bell and a little pine cone. And of course we need something to hang it with. So this beautiful red and gold ribbon is, I believe from Dollar Tree. I think I got it at Dollar Tree. I'm just gonna hot glue it and tape it to the back and that's it. Such a beautiful custom sign. I love that it says ho 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 and I love this wrapping paper. It's my favorite. For the next Dollar Tree Christmas hack, I am going to take this ornament sign from Dollar Tree. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sand down the glitter and just scuff off all the surface except the top. I want to keep the glitter red portion on the top of the sign because it's going to go really well with the wrapping paper we're using. I'm going to use this one is red and white. It has a really cute like stripe and like little polka dots on it. Just going to cut off a piece that's just going to fit the or the ornament and then we're going to do the same thing we're going to adhesive spray the back with this one place it right on top and then this time we are going to sand down the edges to give it a smooth transition onto the piece again another little trick that i use all the time it works really well with this wrapping paper so just sand down the edges on a downward motion until the paper literally falls off and it works so good if you are enjoying this video, would you consider giving me a thumbs up? It really helps this channel grow and it helps this video reach a lot more people. And it's time to add some greenery. This greenery is part of the Christmas portion greenery from Dollar Tree. I love the light tone green. So I'm going to place three little picks right on there just with some hot glue. And then we're going to place some darker ones just to add a little bit of contrast. And then I thought, why not use one of these beautiful poinsettias from Dollar Tree? Just going to take one, remove the back pick add a lot of glue and just place it right there on top. 
beautiful i love it so now it's just time to add some ribbon again we're going to use a similar one from earlier this one says merry christmas we're just going to use a, a little portion of it tied in the knot and that's it that way we can just hang it from the wall but this one turned out absolutely stunning i love the way that poinsettia looks i love the wrapping paper i think it just has a beautiful design just stunning For the next Dollar Tree Christmas hack, I'm going to take one of these summer red boards from Dollar Tree Summer Selection. I had it left over, but I thought the red would work really great for Christmas. So I'm going to remove the top portion that has a little sail. Usually I just use my blade knife. I score it a few times. I snap it, clean it off, and then I just sand it down for a smooth finish. This is an 18 inch piece and then I'm going to cut it directly in half to have two pieces that are nine inches long and I'm going to do the same thing. Score it, snap it and sand it. I'm going to make a couple of marks on each corner so that we can turn these into tags. I recently did some tag decor for fall and it turned out beautiful and I thought I'm going to do the same thing for Christmas. So I'm going to do the same thing on the edges and corners. Just score it, snap it and sand it. I should make a t-shirt with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm going to cut another piece. This one's a beautiful Christmas letter uh, wrapping paper, and we're going to do the same thing, just adhere it to the surface using the spray, and then we're going to use the sanding block once again to remove the edges. You can really see how smooth those edges are. I just love that technique. We're gonna bring the other one. We're not gonna do anything with it because the red looks beautiful with it. We're gonna hot glue it to each other at a little angle. And again, we're gonna bring in that golden and red ribbon and just hot glue it and tape it to the back for a very secure hold. Not that this is heavy, but it just helps. Then we're gonna flip it back to the front. We're just gonna add some embellishment. We're gonna add again, some of these greenery picks from Amazon, which by the way, again, I do have on my Amazon store. And then we're just gonna add a couple extra things just to finish it off like this snowflake ornament i just thought it would be so pretty to pull that bright white from the wrapping paper and then we're going to add some berries to add I've some color so much lately i can barely find the time to sleep yeah I spend my time running around keeping people and we're just about done with this one i think this one is stunning i just like them all okay can i can i just say that i just love them all but anyways i love the way this one turned out i think it's so pretty so fresh so christmasy everything but you these are the good times with you Baby, for this next Dollar Tree Christmas hack, I'm going to take this craft paper from Hobby Lobby, I believe it was. I got it in a book and I just love the bright white, kind of like rustic uh, rick that it has. I'm going to cut off a piece because we're going to make a beautiful greeting card for Christmas. I love making greeting cards. Every so often I will make one here on my channel because I just love making them. I found these letters at Hobby Lobby recently, a ton in a bag as you can see. I'm going to try to spell the word or the words Merry Christmas. I want the Christmas to be in the glittery red and then the Merry in the matte green. And we're gonna place them vertically on the card. I wanna take a quick second and remind you to check out my description box on my description box, I have tons of information. I have my Etsy shop there for you to take a look at. I have tons of new products for you to check out. Like I mentioned earlier, I have my Amazon store for you to check out. And I also have links to my Facebook and Instagram pages, which I would love to connect with you there as well. So once you're done watching the video, just check out the description box, visit all those links. And once you're there, just say hi. All right, we're going to take this beautiful snowflake green wrapping paper and we're going to cut off a little piece. We're just going to keep cutting until I have a piece that fits the space that I'm trying to add a little Christmas tree to. It's right there on the left bottom corner. So as you can see, I'm just going to keep cutting. Then I'm going to fold it in half. I'm going to make some lines. We're just going to make a very simple Christmas tree, cut it and glue it to that portion. Was the night before Christmas
Once I had it how I wanted it, I am going to open it up and again use my adhesive spray, spray the back and place it right on there. How stinking cute is this? And how easy. This will be a great project for you to do with your kids or grandkids or just with friends or by yourself. I love the way it turned out. I'm going to use this one to gift it to someone this Christmas season. When the bell on the door jingled once more and then for the next Dollar Tree Christmas hack, I'm going to take another one of those summer boards. This is just a reminder that even though you may not use something for one season, think about other seasons that you can use in them. Just saying. All right, we're going to use that Santa belt wrapping paper once again. We're going to cut off one of the belts. As you can see, we're going to adhesive spray the back and place it right there. We're going to make a little Santa Claus sign. You're going to be loving this one. I sanded down the edges once again with my sanding block to remove the excess paper. Then we're going to take this little duster wand that you can find at Dollar Tree. They come two dusters inside the box. I'm going to kind of like butterfly open it and we're going to use it as Santa's beard. I've never used this one before, but I thought let's just try it. I am going to angle cut the beard on the bottom just to kind of shape it a little bit more like a beard. And then we're just going to hot glue it to the top portion. We're not going to remove the sail portion because we are going to give Santa a hat. So we're going to leave it right there it is. I am going to take this fabric that I've had for a while. I don't even know where I got it. But it is red and white and I just thought it would be a perfect contrast to the red in the suit. So we're just going to take a piece. We're going to hot glue it. And we're going to hot glue it in the back as well. And that way we're going to have a hat for Santa. But the fire keeps us warm. We can spend the night. I'm going to scrunch up the top and just tie it with some baker's twine just to have a little hat looking and I'm going to trim off the excess fabric so that I don't have as much sticking out. We're going to give Santa a little nose just using one of these natural wood tone beads that I get on Amazon and just going to place it right there underneath the hat. Nothing fancy. Now I'm going to, we're going to bring in the dusting mop. So earlier we used a dusting uh, wand from Dollar Tree. Now it's a dusting mop. We're going to cut off a piece from it. We're going to hot glue it to the bottom and on top of the belt, trimming off the edges for a clean finish. This is going to be kind of like the fuzzy part of Santa's suit. We're almost done. We're going to use the leftover little fuzzy part for the top portion of the hat because it needs something there. I'm also going to angle hot glue the hat just for a little bit more character. Then I decided it was missing something, so I am going to take some greenery and I'm just going to add it to the hat just to add a little bit of embellishment, give it some color, some texture, and I think it kind of brought everything together. Everything was kind of like red and white, so I think adding the greenery really helped. I'm also going to add some of this glittery red picks from Dollar Tree, and that's about it. I love the way this one turned out. I gotta say it's one of my favorite. I love the size of it. I look how stinking cute it is, and I love that we use a wrapping paper for that belt. Tell me that's not the cutest thing. I love it. Let me know what you think of this Santa. Actually, let me know what you think of all of my crafts. Do you like them? Would you recreate them? Which one would you recreate? Let me know in the comments. I have another video here for you. Check it out. I'll see you later and have a blessed day. Bye. All I do is spend this holiday with you. Tomorrow it is Christmas. The first